everyone. Uh, my name is Kevin Vanover. I'm the Endpoint Practice Manager here at Patriot Consulting. And today I wanted to give you some guidance um, on local admin password solutions. So that is what we're going to talk about today. Let me share my screen and we will get things kicked off. And don't forget to uh, like or subscribe uh, for the Intune Barbershop audience. All right, here we go. All right, so local admin password solution. Let's limit that attack surface on your endpoints. Okay, so what is LAPS? Windows Local Administrator Password Solution is a feature in Windows that helps manage and back up the password of the local administrator account on your Microsoft Entra joined devices. What are the benefits of LAPS? It provides a way to sign in and recover devices that may not be accessible. It helps prevent lateral movement. So, you know, every device has the same username, but every device has a unique password. Um, this can be used apart as a part of your zero trust strategy by removing the need for users to have local admin rights on their devices. So what are some of the prerequisites then that would give us the ability to use the new laps provided by Microsoft within Microsoft Intune? Number one, you need to have the devices joined to Entra ID and you need to have an Intune per, uh, subscription plan one and the devices need to be enrolled. Uh, some other uh, quick things here. Uh, oops, went too far. LAPS is supported on the following OS platforms that are listed there on the screen. I'm not going to read each one of them line by line, but this is being recorded so you can pause right now if you want to make sure that your devices are covered. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into how you enable LAPS within Entra. All right, so I've got it, a nice little screenshot here uh, done for you, and I've labeled the steps one by one. So let's go ahead and get into Entra ID. So you can do entra.microsoft.com. You need to log in with at least a cloud administrator account. Um, go into identity, then go into your devices, then go to all devices. And then over there in the uh, middle nav uh, blade, you'll see under device settings. And once you're in device settings, you'll go down to manage local administrators on all Microsoft Entra joint devices. And you'll want to change that from no, the default, to yes. That will then enable LAPS within Entra. All right. Easy enough. That's that's. There's really not much more to it than that to enable LAPS. Okay. So let's talk about the local admin account. This is something that either needs to be enabled, i.e. you're using the default local administrator account that comes uh, by default on the Windows operating system. This is not what I would recommend, uh, but it is there uh, if you didn't want to uh, create a new account on all of your endpoints. Um, you can use an existing admin account already on the endpoints, so something besides the default administrator account, uh, but I want to call timeout right there. And I put that in the, uh, I thought that was funny. <laughs> anyway, um, if you're using a legacy sys solution like LAPS, uh, Windows LAPS, you can't use those in parallel. Those That account can't be used by that service and then the Microsoft Cloud LAPS at the same time. So what I would recommend if you wanted to, you know, sort of deprecate that, you know, gracefully is that you create a new administrative account on your endpoints and you can manage that using the Cloud Labs policy separately, but run them both in parallel. So uh, net, net new devices can be uh, created with the new admin account or as you're rolling it out to existing devices, you would want to make sure to deprecate that agent uh on those existing devices, make sure that new account is created. And then as you go through your environment and you deprecated all the devices, then the net new account would be used moving forward. Um, and then last, after you've created that account, you can go verify that the account is created. Now creating that net new account, um, if you have some sort of scripting methodology, uh, you know, or you know, whatever you want, to, whatever methodology you have, I prefer to use a remediation script, especially if my devices are enrolled into Intune, because with remediation scripts, I can assign that to all devices and I can, uh, you know, go in my validation and testing, go to a device and tell it to run that remediation script right now. And then I can literally log on to the device, go verify that it is in the uh, local administrators group and um, I'm good to go. And once I move past that, I can go ahead and move forward um, with my creating my uh, lapse policies. 
the other nice thing about the remediation script is I can tell that to run at intervals. So if I want it to run once a day on every device to verify, first part of the detection, the remediation script is to detect, does this account exist? So that way, if somebody in the future were to somehow mistakenly delete the account, um, the remediation script next time that device checks in is going to recreate it. So uh, it would self heal, uh, so to speak, uh, and go ahead and recreate that account as needed and then make sure that it matches the password requirements and everything that you've met. All remediation script. Um, and that's the way that I prefer to deploy it for uh, new clients as I move on. All right, so verify that account exists. So I will pull up, um, I've already sort of taken the liberty of uh, running the remediation script on my test device. And you can see there, I've got an account that's in the local administrators group called Lapse Admin One. That is the account that, I'll buy, that I will be using in my policies. All right, so managing Lapse with Microsoft Intune. How do we do it? All right, moving along. So admin demo, woohoo. So what I did is I took a screenshot of the steps, where to go. So we're gonna go into endpoint security, we'll go into account protection, um, then we're gonna go up and create a policy. We'll give it a name, uh, we'll pick our platform, Windows 10 and later, uh, and we're gonna tell it, hey, I want to use local admin password solution. Now, if you drop that down, you'll see that there's two other options for other things, but we're only focused on the local admin password solution laps, okay? Uh, once that is created, uh, or once you've started that process, you, you'll go through sort of a wizard-driven process. You'll give it a name. I just called it Lapse Policy Name, Policy for Demo Purposes, um, and then these are the policy settings. So um, the backup directory, you can back it up to um, Active Directory. I, in my, and I would recommend this, that you want to back it up to Azure AD. Um, that way it's, it's ready, it's readily available in cloud and you know, you have that single interface, you know, for administrative purposes. Um, go ahead and configure the password age. The default is 30 days and that's what I would recommend. If you have something that you wanna be more strict, you can reduce that number down. Now this next part here is really important and I uh, wrapped a, a frame around it because I wanted to call it out. If you're going to use the default built-in administrator account, you don't want to uh, flip it to configured. You'll just leave it disabled and it will by default use that account um, in the lapse solution. If you create a custom account, which I did, you turn it to configured and you type out the exact name of that account and it just needs to be that. It doesn't have to be UPN or, or you know, yeah, just that's, that's what it'll do. Um, so just make sure you, know, you, you match that up correctly. The password complexity, um, it's important, you know, make sure that it uses the password complexity that you want and then define your characters. Now, if you're using the remediation script to create an account, the one that I used um, actually has a 14 digit uh, passcode in it and it uses upper lowercase special characters um, and that's all fine and good. So I'll be good and, you know, because that account's already going to match the policy and the policy won't have to be run to correct that. It will just automatically use that and it'll replace the password, of course, with whatever um, the policy defines. Post authentication. So what happens when a lapse account and password are used on an endpoint? Um, we want it to reset the password, log off the managed account, and upon expir expiration of the grace period, the managed account um, uh, would be, uh, password would be rotated. So, um, I've, I've identified or defined that I want it to be eight hours. So post authentication. So immediately after somebody uses that password, it will wait eight hours before it logs them out and then uh, resets or rotates the password against that local account on that device. And, you know, by default, it will be set at 24 hours. Um, everybody has a different sort of, opinion on this. Some organizations will do one hour, others will do eight, so it gets through the work day, and some will leave it at 24, they're okay with it. So whatever works for you and your environment, that's what I would recommend. And make sure you test it so you understand what that experience looks like. Um, but that is pretty much it in a nutshell. All right, so when you come to assignments, um, I would recommend that you assign this to all devices and you wanna leave that to uh, in you know the target type to include. Uh, that'll make sure that this account will be created on all of your Windows 10 and later devices, um, server 2019, April 2023 update and later, and then server 22 and server core with the April 2023 update 
uh, and later. Uh, so those will all be included in that LAPS uh, policy and get assigned. Um, okay, so what we've done, we've enabled LAPS. We created an account that can be used with LAPS, whether you do it through scripting or some other methodology, up to you. Um, and then we created a policy that will govern how the uh, policy will uh, be uh, edited or rotated after each use and how long it waits, uh, what, what the password complexity requirements are, how old the password can be, and all that kind of fun stuff. Now, um, let me jump out here to my demo tenant. No, yeah, there we go, right here. Okay, so in if I'm in Entra and I wanted to go capture my local admin password solution passwords for my devices, uh, you just go into identity, go to devices, and then you'll see here um, you have your local admin password solution. And then these are my three test devices as my test tenant. If I click any one of these, I can tell it, hey, show me the local administrator password. And if I click that, it'll then publish that password for that device. It'll pop up on the screen there and you'd be able to see it. And then you could go to that device, um, whatever your remote uh, management tool is, you know, you know, RDP, third party product, whatever. And when you right click on something and you say run as administrator, then that's when you would want to put in the lapse admin one in my case, and then whatever the password here that was published, and it would let me go ahead and authenticate against that process as an administrator. So command prompt, things like that. Um, in Intune, if you wanted to see that, you have to actually go to the Windows devices, find the device that you want. Uh, so I'll go to, uh, let's see here, I have a Windows device, yeah. Um, I'd go to an individual Windows device, and there I have the in the blades, the local admin password solution there. Same experience where I can click this and then, you know, I can tell it to show me the password and you, you can authenticate to it in much the same way. Um, I hope that covers it all for you. Um, so, again, as I was saying, like and subscribe at the bottom. And uh, that is local admin password solution for you uh, from the cloud side. All right, man. Have a great day.